some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Perkins as, uh, well, he ends up taking on a sovtard who says he went to law school, but apparently he got kicked out. Who knows why? He doesn't really go into it, but perhaps his uh, research methodology was uh, quite sloppy, but I know they don't kick you out over that unless you plagiarize quite a bit. I mean, that's one reason why they'll kick you out. But at any rate, it's clear that his uh, research methodology is subpar at best, perhaps at the level of a four-year-old who doesn't understand what he's reading. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And, and did we call the case on Lynch or no? We're going to call that uh, right now. Okay, very good, Your Honor. City of Detroit versus Clyde. Darnell Lynch. Case numbers SP1537940, counts one and counts two. SP1554736, counts one and counts two. SP1558135, counts two and counts three. SP1590696, counts one and counts two. SP1537941. SP 155 SP 1558 SP 1590695 Appearance for the record, please. Hmm, that's a lot of charges right there. But uh, by the end of this video, the judge will be wanting to file more charges on this uh, moron. Pauline Strokin, BF Mr. Lynch. Mr. Lynch, state your name for the record, please. I'm good. You can hear me? I can hear you. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. State your name for the record, please. Clyde, Clyde Darnell Lynch. And Mr. Lynch is 52. He says since, since he was 12, he, he stopped taking count of his age. Or 11. Which one was it, Mr. Lynch? 12. 12. All right. Officer E. Don, good morning to you. Can you put your appearance on the record for Mr. Lynch? Good morning, sir. Officer Eddie Don, by Food and Precinct, Future Police Department. Good morning to you. Corporal Bennett. Is here for Lynch as well. I'm trying to pull him out the breakout room. Uh, today is the date and time set for a trial. The tails are not here. Tati is not here. We're dealing with six tickets. The rest of them are going to be dismissed, and probably some of the six will be too. Two, two, uh, off, no offers on the expired plates, one hundred and forty-five dollars. Another, uh, and an improper plate. Well, here we go. Well, ones that, uh, okay. So it goes like this: a failure to display, two hundred and forty-dollar fine. That officer's not here. So on the tickets, the officers are not here. We only have two expired plates, three expired plates. And then two of those officers, four expired plates, and two of those officers are not here. So, The offer has been written in the file, Mr. Barry. I mean, who's on it, Mr. Lynch? Soro? I didn't talk to him at first. I did respond when you just called it. So Yeah, I no. Know. I know you know, I mean, so as it's written in the file, it's failure to display two hundred and forty dollar fine. Um, improper plate submitted from no insurance, two hundred and forty dollar fine, and then four counts of expired plates, hundred and forty five dollars a piece. 
but there's there's officers that are not here. Why don't you go into the breakout room and you and Mr. Lynch have a conversation and find out how you want to navigate this, all right? Yes. Mr. Lynch, join the room and speak to Mr. Sorokin, okay? Okay. Um, how do I, I went for the little... It's, it says join. Join breakout room three. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. Right, let's go back on the record for Mr. Lynch. We do not have resolution, Your Honor. So my client indicates that he wants to go to go to trial. He indicates he sent document. Did he come out yet? I don't want to talk when he's not. No. Um, well, he's got, well, the thing about it is he's got these other, all these, the, the, the only two, the only offers that are on the table, really, I mean, the only offers that are on the table are Dunn and Bennett. Right. There's two, right. no insurance, two suspended, and two improper, or two um so, As it's written in the file, it would only be two expired plates unless, um, Unless the city's amending that, because but it's only two expired plates, one hundred forty-five dollars a piece. All right, let me go back in and tell him again. That's because um, on the offer sheet, does he have a license the, suspended, Your Honor? I mean, does he have a, a good valid license? No. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know that. I haven't run that. But the way that the offer was written, the only cases that you wanted. Mr. Lunch to plead to was the Dunn expired plate and the Bennett expired plate. And yeah. then Bennett has a uh, license suspended. Yes. Yeah, so, so why don't you rearrange the offer then? Yeah, well, I would just give him, I'll give him a, one FTD and one expired plate. He, he doesn't want to accept that. He indicates he sent documentation to the court in the past. He's taken this case, his case is Supreme Court. Spoiler alert, uh, that's not exactly what he said later on in the video. He said that there are Supreme Court cases that back up his right to travel, that we don't need driver's licenses and registrations and everything like that to uh, operate a motor vehicle. You know, that same sobtard uh, bullshit, but... Uh, the judge is going to demand to see all the uh, court cases. And, of course, they're the typical ones that all sovtards uh, spew out that have no logical bearing on anything that happened to him. He did a FOIA request. There's a lot of things I don't really understand what he's talking about. But um, our, our communication is close to breaking down. I'll just say that. <laughs> that sounds like it. Bring them out then. Go back in there and bring them I, out. I'm trying I've to, um, prompted them out. Okay, let me try again. All right. All right. Mr. Lynch, i um, giving you an opportunity to speak to counsel. It's um I you know, I'm I'm trying to understand. Uh you want to contest these matters? Uh I had I had to go back. Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Okay, yeah, I had to go back in because I didn't get no prompt. I had to go back in to join in through 36. District Court um, website. No, well, listen, what we're saying is, is that we're trying to get you an offer, but it's my understanding after talking uh, with your lawyer that um, that you don't want to accept anything. What, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? The, 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 thing, the, the thing is, I, I don't know what court cases is being brought up. The, the recent ones or the one that I already have a trial for. I think all of the cases that are on the docket, everything that's on the docket, that you already had all this stuff set for trial. And what we did probably, okay, I see. I see what I, I sent some paperwork in, but some of those cases I got kicked out of Zoom. I send in the pictures through that document website, and I don't know, and I send paperwork to the law department for FOIA for the court cases. Okay, what and, documents did you send in to the court? Uh, it was uh, I, the the case where I had got kicked out of Zoom and I sent in the, the pictures where I got kicked out of Zoom 
I don't. I think that was the January, the January uh, of this year case, and they was like, if I sent, I sent in the pictures showing that I was kicked out of the room because I thought the case was dismissed, and I got kicked out. Okay, so it, 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 what, do you have any documents that relate to your driver's license, insurance, or registration? Look, like, told, told, me, let me. Uh, the one that got me him, the the judge, I mean, the person that I talked to on the last court case said we don't have no problems with you, and I said I'm I'm going through the process of uh, doing my documents to, to take care of Dearborn because Dearborn the one that got it got it hemmed out. They didn't honor none of my paperwork. Uh, motion is listen. Now, we're not talking about Dearborn. We're, we're talking about Detroit. Do you have any documents? Hold on. Let me let me ask my question. Yeah, go ahead. Let me ask my question. Do you have any documents that suggest that you have valid insurance, valid registration, and a valid I can run your driver's license. I don't have anything. I don't have anything because Dearborn the one that got me hemmed up. I can't I can't even get no insurance without no license. Okay, so Miss Well, so what we're trying to do, every case that you have down here in Detroit, we call into the record. And all, and we have two officers. The other cases are going to be dismissed, but we have two officers here that you that that that, that are here. And what we're trying to do is either make a resolution now, and 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 we'll present you with an offer. And if you don't like the offer, you can just go to trial. Today is the day yeah, that, time. That, set. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Today is the day and time set for trial. So, oh, yeah, are you willing to are you willing to entertain an offer to resolve the cases, or do you want a trial on all the cases? I mean, which did you say some of them are gonna get dismissed? I only have two. I know the one that I recently got. Everything is for the same thing. Yes. So, so here's, the here's here's the deal. Let me let me break it down to you. It's two officers that are here. Uh, Corporal Bennett wrote you one, two, three. One, two, three tickets that are up today. And Officer Dunn wrote you one, two, three tickets that are up today. The, yeah, other, that officers, was... the other officers that wrote you tickets are not showing up, have not showed up, and we're just going to automatically dismiss those cases. So okay, we can get you an offer on the two, on the six tickets that those two officers wrote you. Are you willing to entertain the offer okay. for those six Benny, tickets? Benny and Don, those, Benny is the recent case, so that one I want to go to trial. I think the one I'm in trial for now is Don, correct? You're on, on trial for the, both of them, Don and Bennett are set for trial right now. So nobody received my paperwork, my, my, my traveling paperwork? What is what what is the paperwork gonna tell us? Basically, I don't need no driver license, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, that's no proof of insurance. And my car was told illegally those two times. And why don't you why what does the paperwork say why you don't need a driver's license? Why you don't need any insurance or anything like that? I send the paperwork into the law department. And I wanted the FOIA for the body cam and dash cams. And I haven't okay. heard anything from them. All right, we can get you that. We can get you that. Uh, if there's some of that, that exists. Uh, Corporal and, Bennett, can you put, can you put okay. your appearance in the record, Corporal Bennett? Hold on, Mr. Lynch. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Corporal uh, Daryl Bennett, badge 4320, Detroit Police Department. All right, so we need to get... Um, um, if there's any, if there's any body cam or dash cam, we need to get that to Mr. Lynch. Uh, he has to go through the law department to get that, Your Honor. If he's requesting it, he has to go through the law department. Well, that's what he said he tried to do. He said he tried to figure, let's see if we can get that now. We can't get, Your Honor, our person that would do that is on vacation at this point. There's nobody in the office that can get that for him today okay now can i say something for, for the for the traffic box ticket 
that uh, was done. The other no, officer did no, 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 no. Your Honor, can we just get an adjourn date when the people think they can have their video available? Yeah, but I want to. I want to just you know what I'm trying to do is I don't want you to say anything as it relates to the traffic stops right now because today is the date and time set for trial. Um, but I'm going to tell you this. You're you're suggesting it, it sounds like you were suggesting that you don't have to have license or registration or insurance. Is that what you were saying? I, I have documentation of that from the Supreme Court rulings, yes. All right. Well, I you need to get me that documentation because well, what's the I need email to, be, so I can send it to you. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Okay, my, my phone not seeing none of that. Only thing I'm seeing on my cell phone now, if I was on my desktop, remember last time I had issues with my desktop, so I'm on the cell phone, and I don't, I don't see no chat or anything. Well, you should be able to hit the button down there, and it should okay, pop up. Okay, let me up. see. Can I see some? Because all I see a whole bunch of squares with everybody face. And you got to come out of that screen. Huh? You got to come out of that screen. What screen I got to come out of? The one you have to come out of the screen where all the everybody's face is. Okay, I, I don't know how to do that. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to get kicked out like I just did when I was in the breakout room. You didn't get kicked out. You got, I you pulled you. All right. I had to join back in through. I had to go back to 36 District Court website, get back in the Zoom room. Okay. All right, let's pass the matter and we'll try to figure out how to help you with the technology. And um, in the meantime, um, uh, we need to be, 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 do you want an attorney appointed to you, sir? I've been trying to get an attorney. Nobody will take my case. So how if the if the if the appointed attorney don't want to accept my paperwork, then I'm 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 up the creek like in Dearborn. So that's why I'm trying to uh study how to write the court cases all the way to the Supreme Court. So I'm doing that right now. All right. Well, but I, know, is the reason I wanna, why my I wanna, license is thin. I really, I really want to see what you're talking about, Supreme Court, because I've never seen a Supreme oh, Court wait. case. Wait a minute. I Let me come. finish. Let me finish. I've never seen a Supreme Court case that says that you you don't have to have a license or insurance or 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 registration. That I, now I'll tell you this. I haven't seen, I'll admit, I haven't seen all the Supreme Court cases, but I have never seen that. And I've seen a, a, a thousand people come in here saying that. Well, not a thousand, but a whole lot. And, oh, it, yeah. and I've never seen it work. So when, when, when Mr. Bennett pulled, Officer Bennett pulled me over, he was like, no, I ain't, he said, uh, I know I ain't going for this uh, sovereignty stuff. I said, I don't know what that is. I'm talking Constitution, Supreme Court ruling. And they told my car. All right. Well, send me the send me the um Supreme Court okay, ruling. I, I want to see that right I, now. I don't see, I, I don't see the uh where I can send it. All right. Um, I'm gonna pass it. Um, uh, I could just come you down here. Yeah, let me let, let me write my email address down and then send it to me, and then I'll pass it and I'll wait till I get your document. You have any pen? Yeah, I have a pen. All right, you ready? Yeah. S E A N period P E R K I N S. Okay, what what was that at the period? P E R K I N S at three six T H District Court dot O R G. Okay, hold on. Read it back to me. Okay, after 36, what was it? I didn't get that part. After 36 is districtcourt.org. Okay, so I got Sean.Perkins at 36districtcourt.org. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna try, to, I'm gonna send it, I'm gonna get it online and send it on my laptop. I'm going to be anxiously awaiting that, all right? All right. I'll pass, I'm going to send the, the law department. 
loan department thing too. Ollie anxiously waiting all of that, and I'll pass the matter. It looks like Corporal Bennett is going to be anxiously awaiting it. It's going to look like uh, Officer Dunn is going to be anxiously awaiting it. Uh, Prosecutor Mason is going to be anxiously awaiting it, and I'm sure uh, uh, Ms. Soroki is going to be, and everybody else in the room. Because <laughs> this could be some ground, this could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You know, I think I like that uh, little clip right there. This is going to be some groundbreaking stuff. I think I'll add it to my uh, outros from this point on. But at any rate, uh, he comes back in a little while with some rather groundbreaking documents that, well, he thinks they're groundbreaking anyway. But to the rest of the world, uh, it just doesn't have any bearing on his case whatsoever. So, yeah, spoiler alert on that. I don't have to put it all in. So I'm going to forward you that. Now, this is another document that he sent me. This is the travels, U.S. Supreme Court travel rulings. Motion to set aside default. It says in, 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 in it says to me, um, it has case number SB 1537 and SB 1554741. To whom the dear judge shall be perfect, and to whom it may concern, the burden of truth is on me, or then it will just be my word against others' words. I, Clyde Darrell Lynch, always traveling, Supreme Court rulings on travel. Along with being put in ransom for illegal profit gains against my federal freedoms slash liberties and slash or et cetera, as it is proven below and an unnecessary burden of cash out of my pocket, et cetera, for what? Question mark. I do not have gold or silver to pay this debt and slash or a promissory note. Driver, one employee in conducting a coach, carriage, wagon, or other vehicle with horses, mules, or other animals. Driving. I know everybody's looking at me like, what are you saying? <laughs> Driving, op operating in commerce, hire for hire slash profit. You know, I actually think that this soft card got those two definitions from other sources other than Black's Law Dictionary, which is where I got these two definitions from just to counter his BS claim. Because... Well, they're worded so differently in Black's Law Dictionary, of course. So it kind of makes you wonder, whose website did he get them off of? Mulberry versus Madison. An 1803 case. They weren't even cars on the road. All laws which are repugnant to the Constitution are null and void. Now here's what I'm talking about. Here's what the court is talking about right here. I figured he was going to bring this up. Because all Mr. Lynch did was he went on the Google search and searched basically, I don't know exactly the terminology, but he put driving, don't need to drive without a license. And all of these same cases come up. And this one case really bothers me because that's why I asked Mr. Lynch, did he read the cases? Are you familiar with your uh, your uh, black history, Mr. Lynch? Is he on, is he on mute? Yeah, he's on mute. He writes that up. I wish he was too. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, are you familiar with your black history? Okay, it is the paper that you're reading is the one that says titled Supreme Court Ruling and U.S. Constitution? Yes. Okay, that's not updated, but the other ones I sent, that those are the ones that's relevant, the one that say Law Depot, it's like six pages, but the last three is the affidavit, 
in the in the in the FOIA paper, you already seen that for the dash cam, etc. But the law depot, the first three pages is just the website information telling you how to do it. I actually went to school for criminal justice and private investigator, but I didn't finish because I got kicked out for, for no necessary reason. I've been fighting that ever since. Okay, you got kicked out for uh, no necessary reason. So a reason that you don't want to divulge in court. Uh, but I wonder why. I mean, were you cheating? Were you... Uh, plagiarizing or are you doing something like this presenting uh trying to present cases uh without evidence or anything like that uh what was it why did you uh get kicked out i mean why did you fail how did you fail what did you do but i actually went to school for for business management and law but i didn't finish so i see so technically but, but what I what and I, and I went to a Morris facility and learned the Constitution and everything. So that's a you know, put all that together. That that's what I'm involved in right now. So I'm okay, not, okay. So uh, I'm, I'm, let's just discuss. Let's just take it down. Uh, break it down. The, what I asked you was, you're providing me documentation to show proof that the Supreme Court says that you don't need a driver's license to drive a vehicle, right? Your Honor, Your Honor. I'm asking that's, you a yes or no question. Okay, uh, all I want to say, that Supreme Court paper, you can forget about that. Oh, now you're, so you're trying to dodge this whole thing, huh? Now that you got a hold of somebody that won't buy into your BS just because you said in front of them, the, you're just going to back off because they have the capacity to actually read it and understand what it says so yeah no 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 i don't want to uh, no no that's that's irrelevant i didn't mean to do that no no yeah dude it's too late now that law depot paper is, is what is what was what i've been working on and i'm still trying to figure out how to go go through the court cases all the way to the supreme court so i'm studying and learning how to do that to do this to take care of dearborn because dearborn is the one that got me in limbo right now but That's what I'm saying is, no, I don't need to see any law depot. I don't, I don't see any law depot. I, I asked you a question earlier. I said, I, I hope that you're, 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 you're bringing these that this <laughs> stuff that you. Uh, wait a minute. I asked you a question, and I, I said, I hope that you are, uh, you're, you're sending me these papers and these cases and um, in support of you not having to drive with a license. Um, and I and I hope that you've read the cases that you're you're um, uh, uh, using in support of what your your belief of the law is and the Constitution and stuff. And I get this, and I've done it. I've got you're not the first person that's done it. And and the reason why I ask you, are you familiar with your uh, with 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 your uh, with your uh, African-American history, particularly uh, the civil rights movement, is because you have submitted a case, Shuttlesworth versus the city of Birmingham. And, and you submitted this case in support of you not having to drive with a license. And it's, it's kind of like, uh, throwing mud in Reverend Shuttlesworth's case because Mr. Shuttlesworth, I'm sure he was a reverend. I'm sure that Mr. Shuttlesworth uh, uh, had a valid license and doesn't believe what you're, what you're trying to use this case law for. I wish you would have taken time to read what Reverend Shuttlesworth had to go through um, on this day, on April 12th, 1963, when he's trying to uh, uh, fight for our civil rights. So much better, like seeing. Because I think if you would have read it, yeah, you would have seen that most of what you have put it, but in here and all the cases that you have put in here. Are complete. A shuttle's work has nothing to do with what you're talking about. 
And the other case. I understand that that struck, like I stated, Your Honor, that paper is not updated. That right there, I supposed to took that out. That 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 the shuttle work you know, through the Alabama. No, not Alabama. I pulled they had took that out. You're supposed to take all this stuff out because none of this stuff has anything to do with what you're talking about. None of it. You read actually, 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 some of the cases, some of the cases are directly opposite. And they say that you have to have a valid license. The one with the with the wagon and the coach, uh, uh, what was that guy? He's in 1903. I forget the case. He's driving a coach. And he's got a car in 1903. He's got a car in 90s. He had big money. And he's driving his car up this dirt road and he's speeding. And they give him a ticket. And they say, not that he doesn't, that he doesn't have not to have a, have a license. They just wanted to automatically revoke his license because he had a license without a hearing. And he's saying, you can't do that. I have to have a hearing before you're able to take my license from me. So he's not even saying what you say he's saying. So this stuff is well, the up in Birmingham. I pulled ahead, took that out. Like I stated, I haven't updated that. Well, well, you know, some. I wish you would read this stuff before you even put it in this document, because that's what you're supposed to do. I can hold you in contempt for for, for filing of uh, of uh, 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 filing this irrelevant stuff. Do, do you get the Stop law this. depot document three? I got the law depot document. Okay, but basically that that sums it up right there. That like I said, that's I, I, that's not even updated paperwork. I sent that by mistake. That's why I, I sent the uh the FRA paper. But that right there, I pulled I pulled the update that. But the law depot three document is six pages. The first three just tell you how to do the affidavit. Which I forgot to do, but that refreshed my memory. And the last three pages is my court papers. You know, I'm gonna tell you this. Everybody that's coming here with this, they didn't win. I'm gonna say that first, right? And then some of the people agreed me and went to the judicial to junior commission on me. And they quoted the same stuff. And guess what happened? They didn't win either. This is, stuff is nonsense. Stuff is nonsense. I'm, I'm waiting for you to tell me which court case applies. Because we, you have shovels working here. And that absolutely doesn't apply um, to what you're saying. I would like to just one court case. Just show me one out of all this stuff that you've given me. One court case that you said applies. Well, like I stated, Your Honor, that that little paper always get people upset. That I send that one, but it hasn't been updated. Well, you shouldn't Duh. send stuff that hasn't been updated to the court. But I'm just asking you. I'm just asking you one case. Tell me one case. Out of the stuff that you sent me that says it applies to you and your position of you not having to drive have to have a driver's license. The, the law depot document three, that that's 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 what I send in. All the, the, I know, and you're saying I, all, I, I'm asking you out of this law depot document three, you have Howlett versus Rose, Boyd versus the United States, Murdoch versus Penn, Owens versus Independence. People versus bottle traffic. Uh, you have another, you know, constitutional articles. Tell me one of these cases that applies to your position that you don't have a, have to have a valid driver's license to drive on the road. Give me one. Holland. Paulette versus Rose. 
Supreme Federal Supreme Court case applied to state court cases. My traveling documents, Supreme Court rulings, and the United States Constitution are traveling. Is, in this attachment and others not included have been stolen, sold, or to be really shared. I, I don't know. Let's go with Hollett versus Rose. Let's see what that says. Um, I'm, 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 I got a few more minutes uh, before I have to send everybody to lunch. Uh, but I, I just, I just want to know. I just want you to see how ridiculous this sounds. Uh, let's go to the law depot doctor. Yeah, you to speak up loud. Oh, I'm sorry. Procedurally, do you want to get in my court-appointed attorney, and we come back? Uh, you know something, I don't want to waste the resources on the court because Mr. Lynch is, is, is probably going to present this to the court-appointed attorney. I can ask him whether he wants to, but if he presents this stuff to the court-appointed attorney, then they're probably going to come down on the same... Uh, I can go into court records and find cases where the case was dismissed with the same issues I'm in. I, I will find a case and I will present it to you. And he okay. did indicate he was having a problem retaining counsel because they wouldn't accept his paperwork. Well, yeah, I'm sure because these uh, lawyers actually completed law school and have the ability to do their research and research these cases that he's trying to present so they would instantly know if he is full of bullshit. So. Yeah. I mean, that. I mean, I see why. Hollett versus Rose. Rose was a case in which high school students sued the school board after his car was searched on school grounds and he was suspended from school. He sued under 42 USC 1983, which creates a remedy for violations of federal rights committed by persons acting under the color of state law. The student claimed he was suspended without due process because his car was searched in violation of the 4th and 15th, 14th Amendment. The court dismissed the complaint against the school board for lack of jurisdiction. Where does that say you head up when you don't have a have to have a valid license? Mr. Lynch. Yeah. Where does that say you don't have to have a valid license? Your Honor, I, I will get up to date cases where court cases will dismiss with my same issue. I will get the court the up the, the up to date 20 from 2020 to 2024. I believe it's a waste of time. I believe it's a waste of time. Um what are we today is the date concept of trial? Yes sir do you want to take testimony right quick? Um, do you want a trial sir or what do you want? I'm not I'm not so you want a trial? We can take testimony now, or you can take the deal. Um, uh, you know, this, this this stuff that he's talking about that he's presenting to the court, yeah, I think is a waste of time. I go to trial. Your Honor, he did make a FOIA request for the um, the video and those things. I think they should be presented before he goes to trial. Yeah, I, I, I'll give him that. He did. All right. He did. Let's go. So. Let's give him, let's, I sent you the FOIA request, uh, Ms. Mason. He's written in there, you know, he's got the case numbers down and stuff. Um, you know, um, let's get him, let's get him the documentation that he's asking for, if it exists, and then um, let's go from there, okay? Okay, great, All right, let's set a pre trial date. Come back um, September the 9th, 2024, at 8.30. Um, uh, please don't waste the court's time with, uh, I hope you, first of all, 
8.30, September 9th. I hope you read and review whatever you see. On September 9th, I hope you read and review whatever you submit to the court uh, for court and what you feel is supposed to be. And I hope it has at least some relevance to what we're talking about today because the cases that I just read back to you have absolutely no relevance. And procedurally, Your Honor, how are we to get the video to him? He got an email address. I sent you, I forwarded you a copy of that. It's in his email address. So I guess he should be able to, uh, you should be able to forward that to him in an email. It, it probably be too large. I just pick it up. I come down, pick it up. Well, you're not going to be able to pick up unless they have a disc or something. I don't. You're not going to be able to just pick up. I don't know. I don't know. Can I just confirm your email address, Mr. Lynch, just for record? Is it C dot Daryl D A R N E L Lynch L Y N C H one two one at yahoo.com. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, so she'll get you that in an email, okay? Yes. All right, it's, uh, we'll come back on September the 9th, 2024 at 8.30. If there's nothing further, Mr. Lynch, have a very good day and best of luck to you. Uh, you too. Thank you. All right, that'll conclude the morning. You know, I wonder, uh, did he actually fail law school? Did he drop out or what? I mean, it's quite clear that uh, if he did go to law school, nothing stuck with him, not even the ability to do any amount of research. And if he went to law school, uh, does he have a bachelor's degree? Because I know in most states that you've got to have at least a bachelor's degree to even go to law school, which is even scarier because they actually teach you how to do research at that level. And I'm not talking about just uh, looking stuff up. I'm talking about verifying sources and uh, making sure they're biased or not and everything like that. Uh, yeah, so this guy, I highly doubt that he even has that level of education. I mean, good freaking grief. That This is just ridiculously stupid. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?